Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, the sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 over the square root of k is less than or equal to 2 square root of n minus 1. Okay, since we're trying to prove a statement about all positive integers, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we want to show that the sum from k equals 1 to 1 of 1 over the square root of k is less than or equal to 2 square root of 1 minus 1. Well, let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, this is just equal to 1 over the square root of 1, and that's just equal to 1, and 1 is equal to 2 square root of 1 minus 1. So, we've shown that this guy is equal to this guy. Therefore, this guy is less than or equal to this guy. So we've shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. Which means we want to show that this is true. And let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, let's pull away the n plus 1th term of this sum. So we can rewrite this as the sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 over the square root of k plus 1 over the square root of n plus 1. And then, by our induction hypothesis, we know that this guy is less than or equal to 2 square root of n minus 1. So, this entire thing must be less than or equal to 2 square root of n minus 1 plus 1 over square root of n plus 1. Now remember, the whole goal is to make this guy less than or equal to 2 square root of n plus 1 minus 1. And at this point, we are expecting to be able to make this guy less than or equal to 2 square root of n plus 1 minus 1. And notice, both sides of the inequality have a minus 1. So really, we're expecting this to be true. And if we subtract 2 square root of n to the other side, this means we're expecting this to be true. And it turns out, we can re-express square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n in a different way. If we multiply it by this, then we get this. So really, we can replace square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n with this. So really, we're expecting this to be true. And notice, 1 over the square root of n plus 1 is equal to 2 over square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n plus 1. So really, we're expecting this to be true. And intuitively, it seems pretty clear that this inequality is true, because the numerators are equal, and this denominator is greater than this denominator. So, we can show that this is true, and in fact, it'll be strictly less than, right? The reason why we know that this inequality is true is because, well, first of all, we know that n plus 1 is greater than n. Since these guys are both positive, if we take the square root of both sides of this inequality, then the sign of the inequality will remain the same. If we add square root of n plus 1 to both sides of this inequality, the sign of the inequality remained the same. And then, since both sides of the inequality are positive, if we take the reciprocal of both sides of the inequality, then the sign of the inequality will be reversed. And then, if we multiply both sides of the inequality by 2, the sign of the inequality will remain the same. So, 
we can be sure that this inequality is true. So, because we know that this inequality is true, we should be able to show that this inequality is true. So let's go back to our proof. Now we know that one over the square root of n plus one is equal to two over square root of n plus one plus square root of n plus one. So really, one over square root of n plus one must be less than this guy. And therefore, this entire thing must be less than two square root of n minus one plus this guy. But let's remind ourselves from the work that we did earlier that this is true. So really, two times the square root of n plus one plus square root of n must be equal to two times this guy. And at this point in the proof, we shouldn't need this stuff anymore. So next, let's distribute the two across this parentheses. We see that two squared of n minus two squared of n goes away. So we're left with two squared of n plus one minus one. And so we have shown that this guy is less than or equal to two squared of n plus one minus one, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction, and therefore we have proven that this statement is true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.